Hi friends, in this video, we are going to see how to apply superposition theorem in a circuit consisting of dependent as well as independent sources. So in this problem, we have to get a voltage V0 which is nothing but across this current source using superposition theorem which consists of one voltage dependent voltage source. So let's start. So in the first place, we are going to consider one ampere acting alone. What will happen to this 25 volt? Being a voltage source, we will short circuit it. So I can see 25 volt is short circuited. So circuit will get modified. So let's draw the modified circuit. Short circuit means replace source by a wire. So we will get circuit like this. We'll consider this as a V1 dash. And V1 dash will be this. And you have to get this voltage which is nothing but V0 dash. That we will see later on. First of all, we will apply a mesh analysis to this problem. So there are two meshes having the current I1 and I2. Okay, and the voltage drops across all the resistors based on the current direction will be like this. Let's encircle the polarity given by them to avoid a confusion. Now we are ready to apply KVL. No need to apply KVL to mesh 1 because the current source is present. So our work will be reduced. So I can directly say over here I1 equal to 1 equation number 1. Straight away. No need to apply KCL. Sorry. No need to apply KVL. Now let's apply KVL to mesh 2. So plus minus. Enter into previous video. So plus minus minus 200 I2 minus plus plus 0 0.5 V1 dash plus minus minus 40 I2 minus plus plus 40 I1 equal to 0. Now we need a substitution for v1 dash so let's write a substitution equation for it now v1 dash is nothing but a voltage across this branch which consists of two elements so i can say v1 dash is nothing but addition of two voltages out of that one is across of 40 ohm and second is across this voltage source which is given as 0 0.5 v1 dash so it is very simple now v1 dash minus 0 0.5 v1 dash we will get this as 0 0.5 v1 dash is nothing but voltage across 40 ohm which is nothing but 40 multiplied by current flowing through 40 ohm Now we, the only question over here is to write a current equation for 40 ohm. So 40 ohm is carrying two currents. I1 is downward direction and I2 in upward direction. But subtraction will be there. But which will be more? That is decided by this. Positive polarity given by them matching with this voltage caused by I1. 
so it is nothing but 0.5 v1 dash equal to 40 current will be i1 minus i2 because i1 causing a polarity matching with the polarity given by them 0.5 is nothing but 1 by 2 so we will do one thing instead of substituting a v1 dash we will substitute 0.5 v1 dash straight away so now if i substitute 0.5 v1 dash over here we will get a modified equation as minus 200 i2 remember we are substituting 0.5 v1 dash so that is nothing but 40 i1 minus i2 minus 40 i2 plus 40 i1 equal to 0. So let's simplify this. So what I will get over here? This will give us a 40 i1 added with this 40 i1 it becomes 80 i1. Now minus 200 i2 minus 40 i2 will give us minus 240 minus 240 minus 40 will become minus 280 i2 equal to 0 as equation number 2. Remember already we had first equation now we got second equation if we substitute i1 directly we will get a value of i2 so instead of solving let's substitute so from 1 and 2 I can say 80 minus 280 I2 equal to 0 so this will give us I2 as 80 divided by 280 nothing but cut round cut so light one over, comes half two minutes away. So continue to previous video. So we will get I two as zero point two eight five seven ampere as the value of I two and I one equal to one ampere. So this we have just solved by taking a uh, mesh analysis for mesh 1 and 2. Now we will come to the original question. We have to get the voltage V0. So V0 dash for this case will be nothing but this voltage. So you have to see this mesh once again. But while taking this mesh, we are not going to take each and every element. Straight away, this is a V1 dash. And we know that and this is a voltage which is nothing but a 5 times I1 so what I will do I will just draw this part of a circuit one more time so the circuit will be like this we want a voltage across this current source and remember over here we know this voltage now which is nothing but a v1 dash this is a 50 ohm 1 ampere and we are supposed to get this voltage which is v0 dash remember one thing 1 ampere is going to flow through this 50 ohm causing the polarity plus minus in this direction so now i can apply kvl to the loop and we will see what I will get so minus plus so it's a plus v0 dash plus minus plus minus is a minus 1 ampere is a current and register is 50 plus minus minus v1 dash equal to 0 substitution equation we get for the 0 0.5 v1 dash so let's write it once again so it is 0 0.5 v1 dash equal to 40 i1 minus i2 what is this this was a substitution equation now upon simplifying what we will get v1 dash is 
This is 1 by 2 multiplied with this 40 is 80 i1 minus i2. So this implies 80 i1 we had 1 minus i2 is 0 0.2857. So upon solving this, we will get V1 dash as 57.1429 volt. Why we have done the V1 dash? Because now we are going to substitute this V1 dash over here to get a V0 dash. So we will get V0 dash minus 50 minus 57.1429 equal to 0 ultimately v0 dash will be 107.1429 volt this we got as a voltage across the current source by considering one ampere acting alone let's go ahead and take another source so other source present in the circuit was 25 volt so now we are going to consider the effect of 25 volt now we are going to see the effect of 25 volt alone by open circuit using the one ampere current source so second part of our problem is 25 volt is acting alone What you have to do for 1 ampere? 1 ampere will be open circuited being the current source, internal resistance is infinite. So we will get a modified circuit. In this circuit, this source will be open circuited. So what we will get over here is this. So we want double dash over here, 200 ohm and 25 volt is acting alone now and do not forget this is V1 dash rather double dash and this is what we want now which is V0 double dash. Now it is quite simple over here we are having only one mesh present so let's mark the current as i so this current will produce the voltage across 40 ohm in this manner and 200 ohm in this manner so let's apply kvl to this mesh let's start from the 25 volt so in this direction plus minus so it's so minus 25 minus plus plus 0 0.5 v1 double dash plus minus minus 40i plus minus minus 200i equal to 0. We need a substitution for v1 double dash. So in the same manner like this. But this time we need to be very very careful. Okay, so V1 double dash. We are writing a substitution equation. Is nothing but basically what we are going to do over here. Simple K will you are applying to this small circuit. So see minus two plus. So plus V1 dash minus two plus plus forty and the current which caused the drop minus two plus is I1. So minus forty I plus minus minus 0 0.5 v1 double dash equal to 0 so this will give us 0 0.5 v1 double dash equal to minus 40 i okay so we want a substitution for this so this will be our substitution equation for 0 0.5 
v1 dash v1 double dash substitution equation so if i substitute what i will get minus 25 minus 40i minus 40i minus 200i equal to 0 so this will be minus 25 equal to 280i and after solving this i will get i as minus 25 upon 280 nothing but this is minus 0 0.089 3 ampere. Now, with the help of this, we are going to solve for V0 double dash in this manner. Now, over here also, we have to apply simple KVL over here, considering only these elements. So, I will redraw the circuit where I have to apply for Kirchhoff voltage law once again. So, I am talking about this small circuit where this is v0 double dash this is v1 double dash and the 50 ohm as it is okay with no current through it because it is connected to open circuit so this current flowing through this is zero so if that is the case i can straight away say what v0 double dash is simply equal to v1 double dash so now our objective is to get v1 double dash so from substitution equation i can say v1 double dash is nothing but minus 80 i from this 0.5 is nothing but 1 by 2 and after simplifying i will get v1 double dash at minus 80 i which is nothing but minus 80 multiplied by minus 0 0.0893 so upon solving this i will get v1 double dash as 7.1429 volt and as we discussed v0 double dash is same as v1 double dash because no current is carrying by this 50 ohm i can see v0 double dash is 7.1429 volt earlier we got v0 dash as 107.1429 and v0 double dash is 7.1429 so if i add these two what i will get that we have to write so i can see now total v0 is v0 dash plus v0 double dash upon adding these two i will get a total voltage 114.2858 volt Here is the final answer. I hope you have understood the problem. Thank you.